Hello, this is Eric from Grass Wiggle Map. So I'm signed up to the newsletter uh, on brilliant.org and they send these neat little math problems around from time to time. And this morning they sent this problem here. They are asking what is the length of the red perimeter of this figure? And I thought I'm going to record a video showing how to solve that, how I would solve that in graspable math. So I already marked up this portion here and we're going to work first on finding out how long this portion of the figure is. And we can just multiply that by 2 later to get to our answer. I call that I call it d. And this is this is a certain part of the whole circumference of the circle. So let me first write down the formula for the circumference of the circle, which is simply I call it c, um, 2 pi times r. Okay. Um, so about now it's not the whole circumference, but just a part of it. And the first thing we need to figure out is like, how big is that part? And I'm going to draw in these additional lines here. And since they connect the center of these circles with their circumference, these all have the same length. It's the radius that both circles share and in this case it's 3. And actually let me write that down as a formula too. Our radius is 3. Okay, so now these are equilateral triangles and one of the things we know about equilateral triangles is that all the angles inside are 60 degree. So these, this is 60 degrees and this angle is 60 degrees too which means that this angle over here, let's call it alpha, is going to be alpha equals 360 minus 2 times 60. Okay, and now we can use that. We know this is alpha and we can see what proportion of the full 360 degrees is that. And if we multiply that with the full circumference, we'll get the proportion we highlighted here. We'll get the length of d. So let me insert that here as a formula. So we'll have d is 360, or uh, is actually alpha. Proportion between alpha and the full 360 times c, the full circumference. And at this point we got all the formulas down we need and um, we can go forward to calculate the result. So the first substitute in our r here, so 2 pi times 3 is the circumference. Um, combine this here, so we know alpha is actually 240 degrees. And if I fill both of this in, I can get to 2 thirds here. I cancel the 3's, multiply the 2's, and so we got to this result here. This d is 4 times pi. And since we have two of these that make up the red parameter of the whole figure, we know that our result should be 8 pi, our third option here. 